Assalamualaikum and hi, I'm Siti Nur Fadila Binti Zainal from BA2434C. Today, I would like to present about this successful leader. The person that I chose is Vivi Yusuf. Let's check it out! Hi, I'm Vivi Yusuf. I'm 29, I'm from Malaysia and I run Fashion Ballet, which is one of the biggest e-commerce players in Malaysia. I've always loved fashion. And I read law in LSE in London. Over there, the culture of e-commerce is very strong, very developed. So when I came back to Malaysia in 2009, I saw that there was a gap in my country. We decided to group together local designers who were underserved and underacknowledged. I love that I can help the local fashion industry. And from there, you know, I went to Indonesia, I went to Singapore, I went to Brunei. When you hear Muslimah fashion, even me, like before I, I covered up, I think black abayas and like the niqab where you can only see the eyes. And I was so wrong, you know. You can look nice. Girls want to look nice. It's our, it's our nature. I feel women are supposed to go out there, whatever God gives you, your talents, use them, you know, for the good of, of the world and still look presentable. So I think that's the misconception there that Muslim women are oppressed. I did get stopped when I went to the US. I was put in a room for a while. Just that one time I felt, okay, maybe just because I wear the headscarf, I get that kind of um, treatment, you know, just to just suss me out, which I understand because there's so much talk about terrorism and, and Islam, however biased I think that is. That's exactly why I want to wear the headscarf, so that people will immediately, ah, she's Muslim. And hey, she's not a terrorist. She's not a horrible person, you know, um, and she can speak English. She's just like us. I really want to change that notion of Islam. I think that there is a misconception uh, that Islam wants the women to be invisible. And I don't agree with that at all. The biggest, biggest, biggest change is COVID. Thank you, COVID. <laughs> we're in fashion, so obviously we're one of the affected industries. So it's been a tough year. There's been a lot of changes that we, ha we had to do um, to survive COVID. So, so far so good, so wish us luck. Well, there's no one big decision, but many decisions we had to make. We had to change product launches. We had to pivot our product, uh, what we make. Uh, we had to do more relevant product to what's happening right now. We had to uh, cut a lot of the marketing budget and think about marketing differently. We did a lot of collaborations um, and we did a lot for the community. So uh, that's one change that I'm proud of. I think the COVID fund, we raised 1.7 million ringgit and that's because of the nation. Like everybody contributed and we all, we did it with the power of social media and that's it. Like it's wonderful how powerful social media can be in getting the nation together. And everybody donated like whatever they could afford in the name of the nation. It's, it's amazing. My advice to the younger talent is to talk less and do more. I think a lot of people, especially the young people nowadays, we spend way too much time on social media, on Twitter, that we lose track of what we want to do. So I'd say put your phones down and really think about what you want to do in life and plan, plan your way, how you're going to get there. Everybody's going to say work hard, work smart. But at the end of the day, you have to find what you love to do and when you love doing it, you're going to gravitate towards that goal and you're going to make something out of yourself. I think it's so important for young people to come out and play a role uh, to the country right now. Let your voices be heard. Um, think more maturely and think internationally. I always tell people, be local but think global. And that's something I want young, young people to, to, to really think about. How are we going to bring our country to the next level? 
who should we benchmark with? Why stop in Malaysia? You, you want to see how you can be the best in the world. As a young talent, you should be local but think global. Thank <laughs> you.